Welcome back to Redbrook Farm in Scarborough, Maine, October 5th, 2008. We're in the bee yard. Uh, it's a cloudy afternoon. We have uh, double deep hives with a sugar feeder on top. And uh, we're in the middle of the season here, late in the season, where the foraging isn't as good as it used to be. There's not as many nectar sources out there. So what we have are the bees um, on guard and defending themselves against the foragers from the other colonies. Uh, there are nine colonies here and on the front of this landing board you see a um, what is a bumblebee all by herself there. I assume it's a her because she's foraging. And she's kind of laying low and uh, every now and then she was kind of working her way back up to the front of the hive and they push her out. So we're just going to see if there's any uh, attempt to uh, this bee's just kind of hanging low. She comes up on the front of that porch there. She is definitely going to um, encounter these guard bees. What you see, these guard bees here, are, it's hard to tell whether they're getting a scent from fellow hive, fellow colony members about where, where some forage may be, or whether they're gently pushing out. Um, and the pushing out of the other forages from other colonies have been uh, pretty prevalent here. These appear to be smaller bees. Um, these are carniole and gray bees. All the hives we have are carniole and gray bees. And where did that, as we can see here, that uh, bumblebee has now disappeared. And while I was talking, I didn't know if she went into the hive or not. If she did, they're going to be pushing her back out very shortly on the other side over there. There's that big drone going back in. The other thing they're doing is pushing drones out. I'm going to pan down here into the grass in front of the hive, and I don't know if it's going to come out, but what you'll see are all kinds of uh, dead bees out front here. And a lot of them, they're either going to be drones or they're going to be bees that were foraging from other colonies. And what we'll do is look to see, I don't know if you can see them all, but there's just thousands, hundreds of bees out front here. And this is the season where the, where the um, drones will be kicked out. The drones are the males, and there are hundreds of bees down there. The drones are only good for inseminating queens, and this is not the season where, hol where colonies are typically inseminating queens. So what we're looking for is them to be actually kicking out all the drone bees. The drones are the males, and really all they're good for is inseminating queens. pretty quiet here right now. I take it that bumblebee flew off. Let's go look at one of the other hive entrances and see what we've got. And as I pull back what you can see is we have a double deep. There are 10 deep frames, 10 deep frames, and then above the duct tape what you have is uh, what we have right here in the duct tape is a seal just to keep the foraging bees away from that and when you look underneath what you see when you look underneath is you see a sugar feeder and they've just started working this a little bit it's been on there about three days what I have to do is put the sugar feeder back on without making a racket hang on one second here There's the sugar feeder back on. And then there's one little girl up top here. One female. Just another episode from Redbrook Farm. Seeing what the ladies are up to this afternoon.